Hello and welcome to the Gizmo Show, the show keeping you up to date with the latest gadgets from around the world. I'm Grayling Barraclough. And I'm Peter Ruddick. And this is what we've got coming up for you during today's show. Here on Gizmo, we look into a range of different Christmas presents and stocking fillers for all the family and loved ones. We've also got the latest game review between the big rivals, FIFA 10 and Priovo Pre 2010. Which one of those is going to come out on top this year? We're also going to be heading out into the streets of Preston to find out which of the two latest mobile phones the public prefer in our Versus Challenge. Finally, we have our weekly competition for your chance to win gadgets and gizmos featured in tonight's show, plus many more fantastic prizes. Now, have you been searching for uh, far and wide this Christmas for that perfect gift? Well, look no further, as we've got some of 2009's most wanted Christmas gifts right here in the studio. Grayling. Well, first of all, we've, had, uh, we've got this. I'm sure you're... I know you were fascinated by this earlier, Peter. It smells amazing. It smells amazing. This is, um, this is a cotton candy, if you're in America, or in this country, it's a candy floss maker. <laughs> and it's basically like having all the fun of the fair in your own home. As much candy floss you, as you could ever want, you can actually manufacture it How yourself much now. How does this cost? This is only, it's less, well, if you buy it online, it's uh, 19 pounds. It's online at Argos, 19 pounds. So for less than 20 pounds, I mean, you pay three pounds yeah, for, for candy floss for at the fair anyway. Floss, yeah. So I'll, I'll come back to that actually, and you can try, try a bit. I'll just turn it off for now. Next, we've got uh, this monster here, which I know you're not too keen on no, spiders. No, not so keen on uh, this Peter, one. <laughs> but um, I'll hand it over to you Thanks. anyway. If you Thank want to you. Just put it on the floor, I'll give a quick demonstration. Doesn't feel of very it. pleasant. But imagine the amount of fun and practical jokes you could have with this, <laughs> scaring your friends and family, yeah? I think my Absolutely mom amazing. Yeah. If that came into the living room on Christmas morning, you'd have a few shocks. Should come with a health warning, really, that one. Finally, we've got, uh, we've got this one here. This is um, my mystery UFO. And I'm just going to demonstrate what you do with this, because this really is fantastic. Your friends will be uh, wondering how you managed to... Uh, how you managed to do that because it like this is clipping onto your clothes. This clips, it? clips onto my clothes at the back and the, the cotton comes round, but obviously you can't see the cotton. So when I spin it round like that, <laughs> it looks as though right, and it's suspended does, in mid-air and I've got some sort, sort of magical UFO powers. And does that take a lot of practice to get to It do doesn't, that? honestly. If I can do it, then really anybody can do it. That's and as you can see, I can move up and down like that. And... Um, how I much mean, is that one? That's just ten pounds. This is from the science that's museum. That's just ten pounds. Yeah, um, from the science museum. This one is twenty-five pounds. So these are these gifts are pretty much in everyone's in everyone's budget. And what, what I'm going to show you, what I'm going to let you the try now is the uh, the moment of truth, the candy floss maker, um, which, as you can see, uh, oh, go on. Right, you can just if you just want to try. Uh, I'm taking try my life. I'm taking my life in my hands here. Normally, if it was running, I'd be able to scoop it round on, on one of no, these. Well, that, is, that is amazing. That's really, really good. And all it, all it takes, really, is five, five minutes to warm up and uh, three minutes, um, and three minutes really running easy. time. There's nothing to it. Oh, nothing, pour the sugar to in. it. nothing to it at all. Nothing to it at all. Okay, so one of life's unanswered questions, in the gaming world at least, is which football game has the right to be called the greatest of all time? FIFA and Pro Evo Soccer have been locked in the stalemate for many years now. And we're going to find out today which of the latest versions of these games is going to come out on top this year. We've got our panel of judges here, Luke and Adrian, who will be testing out both games and giving us their opinion. Yeah, firstly we're going to be looking at FIFA 10. Now, FIFA has come a long way in the past two years and for many has overtaken its major rival Pro Evo. After we thought it couldn't get any better, FIFA is back this year, jam-packed full of new and developed features. EA have developed the game once more, so they've improved on player urgency, which keeps them focused on the ball and moving at the correct pace. Trapping intelligence has also been improved. That means players now have a better awareness of where the easiest, most natural trapping position is, and that means they're getting the ball under control easier and earlier. 360 degree dribbling has been created. Now this is a first in football gaming. This allows precise control to skillfully play spaces between defenders. Another great addition to the game this year is the customizable set pieces. Now this allows you to create your own set piece which you can perfect on the new and improved training ground. The authenticity of shooting and the accuracy of passing has also been improved. Now I think we could all go on for hours with these new improvements. We're talking match realism, stadium enhancements, the virtual pro mode, but the best thing to do is to see how the guys are getting on testing it in the studio today with Grayling. 
Okay, guys, how are you getting on? How are you getting on with the uh, with the game? Yeah, well, the yeah. gameplay is really smooth, um, but I would say it's a l just a little bit slower paced than usual. But um, it's definitely a lot of improvement than the old FIFA, anyway. So you really um, think that the uh, the FIFA 10 is a big improvement on the last game, then? Yeah, big improvement, especially if you could do uh, customize your set pieces, so you could determine wh where you're going to shoot and how you're going to shoot it, and just yeah. certain little things, little touches like that. I think the big thing was the. Um, the all new uh, 360 dribbling loop, wasn't it? I mean, this is the this is the yeah. thing that everyone's been talking about. Yeah, Adrian's got me a couple of times. Uh, Adrian's had the better hand, well, the upper hand in all of our games so far. Obviously, a better play, but he's got me with the uh, 360 dribbling. It's it's. Does it take some getting used to chances. then? Uh, you say? Yeah, I mean, I mean, all games obviously take getting used to, but um, mm. for some it's easier than other uh, others. Uh, 360 dribbling's worked for Adrian today. Um, and what about yeah. the? Um, I mean, this is the big thing. You can actually. The, f the facial features of the players are much improved on this game, is that right? Yeah, the graphics are, are brilliant, really. Um, I mean, it's not essential to have a good game. The, the graphics are, are brilliant. It's more about the gameplay itself, but, but that, that only helps, really. It, hmm. It's a good thing. Um, but the gameplay... OK, it, well, thanks, thanks for that, guys. Um, so it's looking pretty good for FIFA, then? Yeah, yeah. very good. Yeah. OK, over to you, Peter.